This lake that we're next to is, is Lake Houston, and, and Lake Houston provides today a relatively small amount of our surface water, but we're expanding our existing 80 million gallon per day treatment plant to 400 million gallons per day. We will ultimately be at a point where 80% of our drinking water source comes from surface water supplies. Here in the last three or four years, Houston's um, been stricken by some pretty difficult uh, flooding events. Of course, when you add Hurricane Harvey to the mix, I mean, that was a 500 to 1,000 year storm that uh, certainly devastated this area. When we get these rain events, when we get these flooding events, what happens is you start to have material in the water that just makes it more difficult to treat. I'm Glenn Laird. I'm the environmental chief for Harris County Flood Control District. We do everything we can to reduce riverine flooding, buy up undeveloped lands along the streams, which around here means uh, you're getting riparian forest, and prevent it from being developed so that new developments now are not getting put in the way of future flooding risk. And the water flows across the land. You know, it's sheet flows. If it's going through a forest, particulate matter, oils, all kinds of things are gonna get stopped by leaves and trunks and branches and not make its way into the stream, which flows into the lake, which is our surface water supply for the city of Houston. The most important thing is to make sure that we have safe water at all times. Forest management is paramount. Houston has been growing so prolifically over the last uh, 10 years that if we don't do it now, it's just gonna make it that much harder to protect it in the future. Houston Water can't do it alone. Um, Houston Water needs to build partnerships with other entities that have, I would say, skin in the game. We're moving in the direction of all of those side benefits that we're not charged with doing but we know good and well that they happen because we do them. We're putting back the natural filtration systems that were in place before we got there. Healthy forests are critical, critical to the future of our drinking water.